Hello everyone and welcome to Arthelia's Vintage and Handmade. If this is your first time here, I'm so glad you chose to join me today. If you're a new viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad you've returned. Today we're going to do something fun, something I always love to watch on YouTube and I thought maybe you'd like to see that here too. It's an unboxing video, but technically it's an unbagging video. I have got a parcel here that came last week and I have held on to it just so I could film it for you guys. It is from Fashion Fabrics Club. Now I have not bought a ton from them in the past but recently they have had such good sales and their quality is so great for the price so if you have not tried them you're gonna like what you find. So here's my latest package. They had a really big sale with a coupon for an extra $50 off when you spend $100 plus free shipping. So, yeah, I kind of had to do that. So, I'm going to cut into it and we will see what I've got. Okay. It's been a little over a week I'm trying to find my invoice so I can give you the descriptions of what it was I purchased but oh what I'm seeing is really gorgeous okay here's the slip okay the first thing on my invoice is an ivory maroon geometric crepe which is here and I had something specific. I have a pattern in mind that I've been looking for something 30s in a geometric style print for a simplicity pattern that I have. And I was originally looking for something in black and white, but I just could not find what I wanted. So when I saw this pattern, I loved the pattern, even though it was maroon or burgundy. But this is great. This is such a beautiful fabric and all their fabrics are really wide they're like 55 56 inches wide so you don't need nearly as much so for an example this cost me this is my price before the coupon $17.25 for three yards of this which is great and then if you take the deduction that I had for my coupon it's even less so that's number one the next one is a shamrock green gingham check. This is one of the things my mom and I have in common. We love green gingham. I have a blouse that is ready to wear that is green gingham that I wear all the time. So I wanted a quantity to be able to do a dress in. And this is it. This is such a nice soft cotton. It's not a quilting cotton. Uh, I believe it was a shirting. It doesn't say on the sheet, um, but I, I think that's what it might have been. So you can see a little bit more of the unfold it. The drape has really nice, soft drape. Such a pretty dress. This is going to make so excited about this one. Okay, let's see what we have next. Fruit Jam American Folk and Fabric. Okay, this one was the only quilting cotton. I usually get most quilting cottons either at Joann's or I get them um, from fabrics.com when it's you know, a print or a company that I specifically know that I want because quilting cottons can vary so much in their texture that they're not always good for clothing. So I do like to uh, buy them in person. But this one I went ahead and got because I love the print. It is a vintage print. I believe it's a reproduction. And oh my goodness, this looks even better than it did on the computer. Oh, apples and flowers and blueberries. If you can see that. Oh, even on the even on my screen here, it it doesn't do it just as as much as as good as it looks in person. This is really really sweet. This one was, I think, a little bit more. This was about $20, $20. So then, discount on top of that. But this is, I love this. This is going to be another great dress. I bought three yards of this one. Again, these are, I believe, the every single one of these 
is about 55 inches wide. Uh, okay, the next one it says I got is the red, white, floral crepe Georgette. Red and white floral. Okay. And I got three, four, four yards of this. Yes, because I wanted this for a dress. I can't remember if... I had a specific pattern in mind when I ordered this. If I don't write things down, I forget. But this is just a really nice, sweet, again, very vintage. You know me, that's what. I'm get it to focus on that. There we go. Um, that's what I'm all about. Anything that looks like it's a reproduction vintage print. And this is super soft and fluttery. Really nice crepe Georgette. Okay, and let's see what we've got next. A black and red medallion rayon chalet. Oh, this is great. This has got a little bit of a texture to it. It's kind of, um, I'm not sure how to describe it. It's not a smooth chalet. But it's got a little bit of a crepiness to it. But more in direct lines. Let's see if I can get close up on this pattern. This is really pretty. There's that pattern. Really nice. Love this color combination. Turquoise and red. If you know me, turquoise and red. <laughs> Love that. And then the white on the black. Really I don't think I have anything like this at all, so this is this is great. And beautiful, beautiful quality. I love their stuff so much. Their prices are so great for fashion fabrics. Really, really nice. Okay, next is a mint multi-floral print Georgette. It's going to be this. This I couldn't see a ton of in the picture because of it being a large print, but enough to get a general idea. Oh, it almost looks like it's a border print. Here we go. It's mint in the body, and then each, so it's a definite, um, Definitely has a, a design that you'll have to watch, or I'll have to watch, as I lay this out. Um, pattern goes down the center here, and then we have the whites on each end. So this will definitely take some planning to figure out what this is going to be, but really pretty, bright, beautiful colors. So sharp. Really, really nice. Love it very soft um, very true mint very true mint green beautiful cutting my head off okay and we have two more um, the next is the aqua multi plaid shirting I only got two yards of this because this will be a shirt of some sort but I'm a plaid junkie and I turquoise red also some green yellow in that white but just a nice basic plaid shirting not sure what blouse this will become but you'll find out you'll be the first to know and finally the last one is a white multi-medallion rayon. Hmm. Oh, I had it inside out. I was going to say, this is pale. This doesn't look like me. But, oh, I had the wrong side. Here we go. This is definitely has more of that texture that I was talking about before on the rayon. This is a little more crinkly. But I really like this little print. 
There we go. It's a corally red and a, like a pumpkiny orange and blue on white. Nice, nice drape. I got three yards of this also. And that is it. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cuts of fabric for about a hundred dollars. So I would say that is a deal. That is a deal. And everything was either I got one piece, two yards, I got two at four yards, and everything else was three each which seems to be about all I ever need for a dress in this width. If it's more of a 30s, 40s style, when you get into 50s big full skirts, circle skirts, you're definitely going to want to up your yardage. But that is it. That is everything that I've gotten from this order from Fashion Fabrics Club. I may have to stop getting their emails, notices for their sales because, oh my goodness, if I look, I find something. A lot of the fabric I have back here is from them now. And it's only been since maybe about December or so that I really started paying attention to their sales. Really, really good. I'm going to post an affiliate link down below. Uh, they have not endorsed this video in any way, shape, or form. They have not given me this fabric for free. This is all my own doing. But if you do you go and shop with them, use my link and I will get a little tiny bit of a percentage for your shopping there. And that can help feed the kitties and the puppy. <laughs> so I really am glad you came today and watched this video. If you like this kind of video from me and want to see more vintage hauls of any kind, um, yarn hauls, more fabric hauls, because I'm sure there'll be more. Um, just let me know. I'd love to see your comments. Which one was your favorite? What patterns do you think I should use with these? The only one that I definitely have a plan for is the first one, the burgundy geometric. The others, I don't think I have a plan. I have a ton of patterns over here, and if it's any reproduction one, I probably have it. So suggest away. I have no set plans. So I would love to hear what you have to say about this video, about the fabrics, and please join me again the next time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. My aim is to do one a week, and I would love to have you back. Until next time, bye!